Welcome back from Luigi's Mansion 3. We're back in the lobby, so I guess it's time to interact with everything. The drinks are gone. I can't sample them now. Should have tried them when I had the chance. Now check this out. Never before has this device that Luigi has on his back had such suction power. Not in any of the other two games. Maybe the arcade, I don't know. I never played the arcade, Luigi's Mansion. I think they got it at Dave and Buster's, but other than that, it's like, where am I gonna find it? It's, it's probably one of those, I don't know, one of those Japan exclusive arcade games. Which makes sense, because arcades kind of are a dying business in the US. Goodness. Ghosts that know how to drill! And are mean to dogs! And drills! I had Luigi's. I think it's just a rule in this series that ghosts have to hate Luigi. This is another new mechanic to this game. You fill up a little meter, you press A, you can slam the ghosts. Oh yeah, I should probably explain how you catch them in the first place. Well, you simply strobe them and then start sucking up. And if you're careful, you can get two of them. Yep, don't strobe the other guy. Nope, come on. You can get two of them. I'm not sure if it adds any kind of bonus to, like, the money they drop or anything. Let's see if there's anything over here. Is that my dad? Is, is, is it time for me to, to save and quit, take a break? I, I guess that's not my dad. Let's see if there's anything in these cushions. Couch money. It's gonna say couch cushion. Yes, couch cushion. Okay, I think I think that's about all we can do right now. Or maybe. Yeah. So you can actually shoot things by sucking them up and then using below to fire them out. And if you destroy those signs, you get money. As you just saw. Or maybe you didn't see. Maybe you're literally blind. In which case, uh, I hope things go well for you. I'm sorry you're blind, but I hope you have other... I hope you have good things going on in your life anyway. Polterpop. You mind? I'm trying to get money. I'm gonna go ahead and smash those other, other two portraits there. Ooh, that one dropped a pearl. Mm. Excuse me. I feel like there might have been something else over here. Oh yeah, there's a button. But I don't think we can do this yet. Oh hey, a heart. Yeah, I was, I was thinking maybe we could put a, a box on the button, but... They broke! Oops! Wow. Get the key. Come on. Stop sucking up books. Key! Oh. oh. oh yeah. Clean this place up a little bit. I did knock stuff off the shelf, so I guess it's, it's my obligation to pick them back up. And by pick them back up, I mean completely destroy them. Oh, 
all the mail slots they got. I don't think they have that many rooms. Actually, now that I think about it, yes, they do. They, they probably do. Because I was remembering, like, oh, floor five is the only, like, the only room that's strictly rooms. Well, yeah, strictly. But there are more rooms in this hotel that you can stay in. And at that panel. It's a secret service panel, I guess. Maybe what that's supposed to be. Like, you know, I'm, I think I see some pipes there, so that's, you know, for maintenance. And I guess this money there is just like, hey, you know, we appreciate our maintenance people around here. Take this money, this complimentary money, and a diamond. And now we'll go up here, and we'll use that key. Although there actually there is stuff over here. I'm not sure if we can get it. I mean, we can get these coins. No, you know we can't. I mean, we can get these bills. We can roll up this rug, but there's no point to rolling up this rug because we can't do anything with what's underneath it, which is a great. And that's great, but it doesn't do anything for us. There's a mouse in there eating donuts. And a spider. Yeah, honestly, if a spider just walked in front of my view like that too, I'd be freaked out. I don't like spiders. Hmm. Unless they're Muppet. But that, that's, that's an exception. That's not the rule. Well, if you've played the other games, you recognize that person. But if you haven't, then I'm not going to spoil it for you. But you probably already know. Well, we can't do anything about that painting right now. So we'll just follow the Polterpup's lead. And then I immediately ignore it and try sucking up this plant, even though I know I can't do anything with it yet. I mean, do anything with it yet, like it does something big. And it's probably just money in there. Oh, it's locked. Then I guess they'll come over here to this door, which isn't locked. But it is in front of a mirror. Ooh. Reflections. I'll take that coat. I'm just storing it in, in, the, in, the, in this vacuum for later. I'll wear it, I swear. I mean, all the money is going in there, so you, clearly you can empty it. I don't know why you call that shape. Maybe I'll research gem cuts and start putting their names up on the screen. You have to pardon me if you, if you, if you think I'm wasting time going around searching everything instead of going directly for the objectives. But like, this is what you do when you play Luigi's Mansion. You don't go directly to the objectives. You look around and find money. You get a high score. I guess I should get this bag of money. I don't know if you can hear that. Well, that was my chair popping. Because it's all creaky. And old. But every time you suck something up, the Joy-Cons kind of buzz a little. They, make, they, they, they practically make their own little boop noise. Now you can see in the reflection there. It's, it's weird to me that that mirror is split. And they also have that mirror in a place where you really wouldn't need a mirror in a dressing room. Like, what are the people sitting on the couch going to do with a mirror? There was a button there. Or... Photo receptor. And we found the key we needed. Or did we? Okay, well, we 
had, uh, okay, I was gonna say he hadn't noticed us. And then he noticed us. Oop. I was just trying to, gonna try to get both of them, but it didn't, work, didn't quite work out. It's fine. There's actually a lot more leniency in, like, how close you have to be to a ghost to be able to have them in suction range. I don't quite remember what it was before, but, like, it, it, you saw before, you can kind of drag them around. They'll kind of start to come closer to you until they get stuck in your suction. Like, practically have their tail stuck in the nozzle. Hmm. Which is how you, huh? as I showed, how you catch multiple ghosts at once. I think there's a, a there's like an achievement, an in-game achievement for uh, catching like seven at once or something. But you, you know, Polterpup, if you just waited, I would have naturally come to this switch because I know what those switches do. Aha! Uh, uh, hmm? Not money. Why would I want money in this game where I'm collecting money? I wanted this light bulb. Not really sure what this was doing in there, but... Okay. You press X. You use the dark light device on paintings and certain other objects. Is that golden spider? Are you the one from the room that I was looking into? I think there's stuff back here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there's a spider. I think it's, yep, there's another one. Is that it? It's just spiders. It looks like there's a hatch there, but no, I, I, I think I see the wall now. Pick up this coin I missed. Just listen to the music. It's like, is this music different than I remember? Like, have I really? Well, I was gonna say, have I not really listened to this music? Yeah, I have not really listened to this music. I don't play this game with headphones on, and I don't go out of my way to listen to the soundtrack. Not that it's a bad soundtrack. It's just. Not one where I'm like, yeah, I gotta listen to this when we're done playing it. I'll just leave that chair to chill there. So we got the... Did I say the name yet? The Dark Light Device? Now we can free this guy from the painting. It's like the opposite of Super Mario 64. Maybe I should have stood there to catch him. I, that, you know, maybe could have done that so we didn't fall on the floor. Ah, if it isn't Luigi, you are precisely the person I expected to find here. It's Professor Egad. It doesn't say Professor, but I'll tell you anyway. Hold that thought. Now isn't the time to catch up. What matters is, you'll do nicely. What's that supposed to mean? Come on, Luigi. Get me out of here. This hotel is filled to the brim with ghosts. Let's make a run for it. No, 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 have an idea. First things first, Luigi. We have to get to my car. Will you take me there? Okay. Hey, the new Poltergust G O O you're wearing. You took that out of my car, right? Uh, yeah. Sorry. We've got to get back to the gr underground garage. Let's go. I, I hope you don't mind me borrowing this. I also hope you don't mind I said to Poltergust. G dash O O. I was like, does anyone ever say the dash? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 
Actually, now that I don't think about it, I don't remember anyone ever saying the name of, of, the, of, the, of this version of the Poltergeist. Hey, Luigi, take a look over there. An elevator, yes. The elevator will get us to the garage in an instant. Uh, no, we'll still have to walk there. It's not instantaneous. Let's hurry up before the ghosts find us. I forgot his, his run animations. Excuse me. It's quite fun. Hey, Luigi, look at that. It's money. And lots of it. Not, not really a lot. Even with all the dangers here, I'm sure we agree that money is still important. The ghosts don't seem interested in grabbing it. What's the saying? You can't take it with you? Well, I definitely want it anyway. Keep your eyes peeled and grab as much as you can. You know, while you're capturing ghosts and saving your friends. Multitasking. So yeah, there they let you know in case you didn't know. Like, hey, this game is going to rank you based on how much money you, gra you grab. So grab a lot. What? Of all the... Someone has removed all the other elevator buttons. Yeah, it's like Dishonored, except the opposite. What's going on here? Hmm. A mystery for later, I suppose. Go ahead and give that B1 button a push. You mean this one? Or what about this one? Or this one? Not that one. Obviously. Hey, fun fact. Elevators have a closed door button. And it doesn't do anything. It doesn't seem like any of your friends were trapped on on 2F with me. It must have been taken to one of the other floor one of the floors higher up in the hotel, which means Yeah, we're going to need those elevator buttons. See that closed door button doesn't actually work, so if you press it, you're a jerk. Like you always see that in movies where someone's like, hey, hold the door, and then the there's a jerk in the elevator who's like, yeah, I'm, I'm pressing the open door button, and they're pressing the closed door button. Oh, I miss this money up here. Yeah, that 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 doesn't work. The, the closed I don't know why the closed door button doesn't work though. Like, why would you why would you have that there? I mean, do nothing. Like, is it just for the symmetry? Because you, you can stick it right next to the open door button, which does work. Elevator's weird. Did you know they make a ding with like, they ding once if they're going up, and they ding twice if they're going down. It's for, uh, blind people. Hey, you know, blind people are there. still watching. Probably not. Oh, hey, look, it's the bellhop. Sans legs. Or, sans disguise, really. What are you hiding behind me for? I'm the cowardly one. Yes, your disguise yield, uh, okay. Not use that. Sure. He's throwing luggage at me. Very rude. Especially to the people who own those bags. I'll just bash you on the floor, I guess. Get a clock a little extra damage there first. behind on my slamming game like I think you can get up to seven if you're real if you're real good at timing it you can get more slams in if you hit it right when they hit the ground I think they like shorten the animation or something you want to show up again bellhop guy he has a name I don't remember it ow 40 Jeez. oh 40 you Take that. Big hat. It's a good thing you dropped hearts. I'm gonna need them. They're 40 damage. Jeez. Let it be known that if you get in a street fight, just start throwing bags at people. Dropped two buttons. Ah, now we can get to the 15th floor! Oh, wait. No, it's just the 6th floor. Dang. Oh, those are definitely the elevator buttons. I never would have guessed the ghost had taken them. Really? You want to have... But there are only two. 
Maybe there are other ghosts out there with the rest of the bodies. No matter. Let's go to my car. I've got something very interesting that I want to show you. I'm, I'm not really much of a car guy, Egan. I don't know. I don't know what you can have in your car that's all that interesting. I mean, besides the Poltergust, which I already took, I guess. Behold! A car! No, a trunk! And in that trunk is... Was that a hat? Helmet? Hey, sorry. Yes, a parking space. Was that the... It's gonna turn into, like, another car or something? Portable car would be cool. You know, you get a flat tire in your car. Pop open your, your spare car and drive down and get a tire. It's a base. A rude base that broke the ceiling. See a collectible blipping out of existence, like, no, I should grab it! Ah! Oh. Wow. It's a pretty impressive pop up base. <laughs> Welcome to my lab. This is another of my brilliant inventions a portable laboratory. It's sturdy, safe, and air conditioned. I always knew I'd need it one day. I'd, I always knew I'd need this one day. Good thing I brought it along with me, right? I mean, if you're gonna roam the, the well, not, not really roam the world, but you know, roam around studying things, you might as well have a mobile lab. Hmm. You wanna know what I'm doing in this hotel? I I didn't ask. That's a bit of a long story, but in short, I was tricked. I mean, yeah, that, that kind of is the extent of your, your story. I got an invitation from someone claiming to own this hotel. They said they had a precious collection of ghosts gathered from all all over the world. No self-respecting ghost researcher would pass up such an appealing offer, obviously. Excuse me. I accepted their invitation, but when I arrived, the invitation was only a ruse. They captured me and took my precious ghost collection. Yeah. That includes all those ghosts you kept, you worked so hard to capture for me before. Except they're all new ghosts that we haven't seen before. Isn't that weird? Even King Boo. Losing him really got under my skin. He's my favorite. Also the one who most needs to be captured. What? They've released King Boo? Ba yes. Ugh, that hotel owner. What has she done? Luigi, you are only hope. Against all odds, without he any hesitation, and at any cost. Get my ghost collection back. And speaking of ghost collections, why don't you give me all the ghosts you've captured so far? Don't worry. If you play the other games, we will not have to return here to periodically to empty the Poltergust. It's just big enough to keep them all this time around. Alright. Keep on catching those ghosts. Oh, and be sure to come back to the lab. I'll set up the gallery so that you can view the ghosts that you've captured. What's with that look, Luigi? Am I forgetting something important? Oh. Oh! That's right. I forgot about saving your friends and family. Completely and totally forgot. I thought he was gonna say I forgot about saving your game. That he was gonna tell me how to save and load my save file. Regardless, to find ghosts and your friends, you need to explore this hotel. To help you out, I'll give you one of my greatest inventions yet. Well, I already have the Poltergust. I call it the Virtual Boo, VB for short. <laughs> Got it. It's a whole lot clunkier than the dual screen. It's a state-of-the-art virtual reality device fitted with a fancy red screen. Wow, red! Now I can go blind in my favorite color. Really cutting-edge stuff. And red is all the rage, you know. It's my favorite color. Also blue. Just wait until I finish this. Finish the marketing materials on on this. It'll fly off the shelves. Uh, let me tell you something. 
You can use the VB to, com to communicate with me at any time. Hey, maybe we can test out the communication system. Press plus to look at the VB. It'll display your current objective for you too. It's quite useful. Oh, and I have one more thing to give you. As a can. The very first thing you'll need to do is install this elevator tracker inside the elevator for me, okay? Yeah, that way you can know what floor you're on when you're in the elevator. Because they don't have those built in. As for what it is. I'll tell you later. Go on and get it installed. Head for the elevator. I'm counting on you, Luigi. And with that, I think it's time to end the episode. So thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.